created by various contributors to 92 Kells, its website and its radio programs are not to be considered as endorsed by A Better Broadcasting Media and A Better Entertainment LLC. Visitors are urged to use their own discernment to draw their own conclusions. We emphasize the importance of keeping an open mind and not construing the data, yes, products, sir. and or back in this thing again. It's Sunday night. And welcome to the Garage Apartment. Sports talk. Real talk. Sports and entertainment. With your favorite partners, favorite partners. I am the funky militant Adara Jones And as usual We got the tribe in here He ain't give you nothing today He said he was gonna switch it up on y'all He tried something new Now he's doing silence See Mac he is still in the <laughs> building now, Just so you know So yes we got D-Mac in here we got Maul Mizzle up in here. And once again, we one fourth down. Just for a little while. Temporarily. Be sure to check us out each and every Sunday night. We're here from 6 to 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And coming very, very, very soon. In fact, you can check it out now. But it's going to really be ready. Eh, about a couple more days. Check us out. Be sure to check us out on thegarageapt.com. Again, that is thegarageapt.com. All lowercase. Yes, indeed. You can catch all of our past shows. You can catch our up-and-coming events. You can catch some, 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 uh, what am I looking for? Some, some, some events that we event. covered. We're going to have articles. We're going to show y'all that we can do more than just talk noise on the radio or on the internet. Show you how we're, how, how well-rounded we are. Some of us got some sense in here. Some of us A couple don't. of us. <laughs> so, fellas, how was your week? Well, week, week was good. Good, it was a little rough, but it was good. Glad to have this um, warm weather back. Be away from this cold weather for a little bit. Uh, family's good. Everything was good, though. Like, man, my week is actually pretty turnt. Boy turned 40. All yes, right. indeed. Hey, I was going to say, man, this oh, boy, that boy, Mom Mizzle, he celebrated his 40th birthday Happy Friday. Bought it, so bought it, bought it. Was it was pretty good. Chilled out at the Houston Club for my godmother's birthday. Shout out to Karen Kellum. Okay, shout Birthday out. was on Friday, too. Yeah, but see, you getting old makes me get old. I mean, I tried to tell y'all. But, you know, I, I'm not ready to subscribe to that just yet. Man, hey, hey. Bring it on. I'm ready. Yeah, I, I, father, time is, father Time is undefeated. You might as well go with them. Do I want to be old? What's the other option? Well, I guess you don't right. want that. The only other option to not being old is dying young. And ain't don't nothing fly. Want that. Nothing Man. fly about dying young. You're absolutely right about that. Right. So we have had an interesting week. It cut off, so cut it back on. Whoa. Did you push record on it? And it just cut off on its own. Okay, we'll work that out. All right. We got some things going. Hey, hey. guess who stepped through the door? You know, I I I, I really would bad mouth you, but that's with just the faux faux, it's I just a, a, a I got a nickname for y'all. It's a bad, bad look. Like, it's well, just a bad I'm look. Not gonna, I'm not he bust through the door with the faux faux. The black know. Michael Wilbon has showed up, so yeah. now that is two weeks in a row he has not been here. Ah, oh, but that's all right. But His he's here. Is greatly appreciated. Yeah, you know. He is the star of the show, so Life I guess now it's crazy, man. It is official. We 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 can make this happen. It is because that's what it is. So it is bad. So a well, lot of developments. Yeah, where where, where you want to go with? You know my my aunt, my aunt Gigi, 
Auntie Jan. Shout out to Auntie Jan. She was like, man, y'all got to talk about David Irving. You got to talk about David Irving and how he is a bad example <laughs> for, for, for young athletes. Now, I don't necessarily know if I uh, feel that he is a bad example, but uh, his position is definitely perplexing. Now, I know there are many folks who advocate for the medicinal use of marijuana, and some may say that involving the, uh, the impact that football has on the body, that, that uh, it could be quite beneficial to most of the players in the go. league. Medicinal use of marijuana would be... It's a lot efficient. better than the pills that they keep popping in them every game. Yeah, and then even something as simple as uh, over-the-counter ibuprofen, which is horrible which for their stomach. After the game, after getting the illegal stuff absolutely, in the game. Absolutely, absolutely. So now, if you don't know, David Irving of the of the Dallas Cowboys, um, is he facing suspension or is he already suspended? He's in, on an indefinite suspension as we speak. So he's well, serving. He was before they could really... <laughs> He's serving an indefinite suspension from the NFL for a uh, violation of the, the substance abuse policy. And once he found out that he was suspended, is it once he found out he was suspended? Uh, no. Yeah, well, once he's they were known. About the franchise yeah, tackle. once they were. Oh, okay. So he didn't play this last season. He? Yeah, he's only played like. I want to say he's played under 10 games in the last four years because of suspension. Yeah, so he, yeah, you know, he is a habitual user of marijuana. There we go. He is a user of marijuana, and uh, I guess he advocates that he's going to use marijuana. So once he learned that he was going to be placed on indefinite suspension, he decided that he was going to retire. He said he is not playing anymore the nfl is full of crap that he feels that uh marijuana is medical and that it should be legalized now you know that makes it tricky because there are certain cities there are certain cities that the nfl has uh teams in where marijuana is legalized and then there are many cities that it is not that still doesn't mean it's uh that an employer has to allow you to use it that's true so he refused, Legal and he said he is that. going to retire, and, and to celebrate his retirement, uh, he great. lit up a... On Instagram. On Instagram, he lit up a... Blunt. A... Was it a joint? Was it a blunt? What was it? I actually haven't seen it. I, I think it was it. a blunt. How old is he? Blunt. How old is he? Not sure the exact uh, age. Probably about 28. Oh, uh, okay. Because if he was like under 25, it would have been a backwoods. <laughs> Could have been a backward. Yeah. It might have still. Been. Or if you're from the East Coast, so, I don't even think they do that no more. So yes, he lit up a blunt on Instagram and announced his retirement. So, fellas, uh, I guess without indulging too much information, divulging, or I don't know exactly whatever your position is on it. You know, we we don't run from any topics here. What are you all's position on David Irving and his and his decision to quit football so that he can smoke marijuana? I know Ricky Williams is a supporter. <laughs> yes, and he also had to do the same thing. Like if you if you are that passionate about it and have the ability and means to do so, then by all means go ahead and do it. But the the employer has their rules and these rules haven't changed and you you have to eventually either get right or get gone. So him quitting, I, I appreciate that, I guess, to expedite the situation. But I'm sure he quit before he was fired. Yeah, but, but his real issue is with the with the with the players' association, isn't it? Because weren't they supposed to negotiate that in the in the in the CBA? Negotiate. The as use of as, marijuana and and yeah punishments and suspensions regarding it. But once you're a repeat offender, all that goes out the window. You now have multiple tests, and you can be you. You don't have to have that little minimum game suspension and everything like that. Once you've been caught one time, you're in the what's it called the substance abuse program. Right, because from what I understand, there are quite a few 
NFL players who have admitted to uh, being marijuana users. So they were supposed to be uh, negotiating or collectively bargaining punishment towards it. So who is his real issue towards, and how smart was it? Because you know, like we said, when you got when you play it, when you're a player, you know you have the responsibility. What well, most of them do, you know, they're responsible for taking care of quite a few members of their families. Um, so, well, the issue uh, he didn't have an issue with anybody. <laughs> he knew what the rules were when he signed up to play in the NFL. So. Uh, I'm not anti-marijuana at all. Um, <clears throat> I think that whole deal about medicinal marijuana, that's a cop-out. I think it's a bad argument. People need to stop making that argument. Just say you want to use it recreationally. Uh, as far as THC goes, the, the what he's in trouble for, the drug, the thing that has the uh, effect on you, right. uh, effect on your mind, and uh, that the kind of weed that makes you high. Now, there has been a, a whole lot of um, uh, research about, you know, uh, what's that, CBD oil, right? which is very popular, right? and it's, uh, very, it's known as a, it, it has some very medicinal properties. And I even know of some players who have investments mm -hmm. in that. Yeah, so uh, to me, his issue isn't with anybody. This is just a, he knew the rules before he uh, went to the NFL. Now, the NFL, this is another example of the NFL being behind everybody else. Um, as far as uh, what being they call progressive, recreational drugs. I would say, th as far as their progression in, in, in yeah, the current time. Yeah, because I mean, everybody lenient doesn't. With their tests. Okay, the NHL doesn't, doesn't care. Uh, care. They they test for all drugs, but they don't give you a suspension for recreational drugs. What they what would be a non-performance enhancing drug? The NHL may call you and tell you, "Hey, uh, you know, you, you had too much THC." So you got cokeheads in the NHL? Yeah, yeah and yeah. and and, yeah. and actually, there's a lot of uh, yeah. We got cokeheads everywhere. I mean, you got cokeheads up the street over there. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about <laughs> as far as. But uh, I mean, you you're being allowed to play a sport where you can be violent from time to time, and you high off of cocaine. Yeah, well, Coke doesn't, yeah. I mean... As long yeah. as you can but still perform yeah, at your job. Still, it's not a performance-enhancing drug. Yeah, but it's an impairing drug. Okay, well, if, 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 you, if you can, <laughs> if you can still play, if you, I believe if you can still play a, a professional sport on a recreational drug, then hell, you deserve to. All Ricky Williams was doing was rushing for 1,600 yards every season. Why, he was smoking weed. <laughs> What's the problem? <laughs> I'm trying to figure it out. And who was that that uh, played for the Bears while he was on? He just kept fumbling the ball. Oh, Rashawn Salam. Rashawn Salam. Well, no, Salon, see, so. it had an adverse effect on Rashawn Salam. Was Rashawn Salam wasn't going to work out, wasn't going to practice. It was it, it was bad for him. He should have made the decision not to do it. But if you're Ricky and you can function, why the hell can't you? And they later found him dead. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Well, did they cautionary tale. No, he killed himself, didn't he? Rashad Salon? Yeah. Out of the way. That was He's a suicide. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he drove to a park, put the pistol in his mouth. Oh, no, they found him in an apartment, didn't they? And let the Lord do his work. No, I thought he was in a in a park. Parked hey, in a park really somewhere. Remember, but I do know. We'd have to look it back up. That's right. sad. I do know he is no longer That's walking. That's sad. Earth. But he's somebody where, you know, it kind of ruined his life. But no, in the NHL, they'll call you and let you know. The, 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 the Major League Baseball. They don't uh, suspend for uh, recreational drugs. It's only performance enhancing drugs. No, I mean I understand why they don't. I don't, I, and I don't necessarily really have an issue with that. Like yeah. you said, if you're willing to uh, risk your performance, because I mean we all know salary and 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 money is dependent upon, or contingent upon your performance. So if you're willing to risk your performance uh, for your recreational use of a drug, I mean I guess so. If it even risks your performance, it doesn't mean you're doing the drug while you're on duty. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess so. I mean, it's all kind I of mean, I guess it's just that bad look of, you know, you don't want to, it's hard, you don't want the perception of your your players uh, who are earning scores of money to be performing under the influence of a drug and being rewarded with a lot with a large amount of prestige. Well, the NFL didn't notoriety. bring it out. Nobody no. I mean, <laughs> if you're performing, I mean, nobody you're, would care. No, either. And nobody has to know. 
The NFL's the one who said, okay, we suspending this dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is You didn't true. know that about the NHL, did you? I didn't even know who David Irving was. I'm going to be honest with you until, until the news either. came out. So I was like, who? Who is this yeah. kid? I didn't either. But, you know, he made a choice. We was talking about it earlier today. Gamal got him confused with Bruce Irving. I was like, no, nah, I know it ain't Bruce Irving. <laughs> nah, <laughs> sorry, bro. Yeah. Now, he might not have wanted to burn that bridge by lighting that blunt up after he made his announcement. Yeah, sure thing, man. But, you know. Now they're looking for you. That's Whatever. a young kid's thing, right? Yeah, because you know, I was telling my aunt, I was like, yeah, right now it's the off season. So, yeah, he talking real big right now. That's because it's the off season. Yeah. This red article said he's earned 3.5 in his career. Okay. How much Somebody you, I never how much heard of that you think he has? I hope he has quite a bit. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, hey. Yeah. The D-boy got quite a bit. Yeah. But, I mean, you know. It happens, though. I, yeah. I, ultimately... It is a cautionary tale where the guy just needs to do one thing in order to be a millionaire, and he can't do that. That's a little bit unseemly. I don't really like that. Well, you don't know if he can rap. Well, I hope he can. That would have been a better option for him then, because uh, I don't remember the last test that. that. They be on everything there. He but might I mean, have an album. <laughs> but I mean, doesn't it go, doesn't it go a little deeper? Though. Doesn't it go a little deeper than that? Because doesn't that have to deal with? And then now we're talking about the issue of addiction and all of those things again. Yes, yeah. we are. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, you know, but I know I know of people who are risking they they little hundred they little hundred uh near job yeah. for, for marijuana. Well, so from what I hear yeah. there is ample time no, let me put it like this. From what I hear, everyone knows when they are tested. Right. Everyone knows oh, trust when me. they there, will there be are tested. definitely the test does not sneak up on you right. in any shape, form or fashion. Not at all. And so, I, I do know that the, the 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 players' association negotiated that. Yeah. So you're right. There there is no excuse. Hold on. Even but if addiction already, is a large. How did Eric Reed get all those randoms popped on him? No. Well, once according you're to Eric the, Reed, it's because he was targeted. Yeah, I know. But I'm saying. They he say they say randomly he his name in the suspension his time. names kept coming Popped up. up. But once his name comes up, they inform you. Yeah, but it's not like oh your yeah, name how came long up. Do you have? Right, they, it's not oh your name came up. You got to take this test today. No, but no. how long do you have? I though? think they might give you. I don't Should know be. a week. I don't know. Okay, well you need a month. I don't know. You need a month for marijuana. To get some out people. Your yeah, but I'm saying so if you. Days, but what so. we're saying and everybody who uses marijuana the, knows that. Uh-huh. So you know they're going to test test uh, extensively during the season. After the season, it's a little different. But here's my thing: if the they can make it so that one player gets it's randomly no tested nine times in a row, there's also ways to make sure that certain players are not getting tested. I, I guarantee oh, yeah. that. Definitely, there is. I'm not disputing that at all. Yeah. I'm not disputing that. I probably at all. wasn't to that caliber, but I mean, again, we're talking about the 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 poster child of hypocrisy in the NFL. So I mean, a weak union. Yeah, you know We're they got about a weak union. Too. I'm telling you, everything Very about weak. the NFL is the just players' union is just is just super weak. They should have gotten this out a long time ago. I mean, they and and they're able to get away with being a horrible um, legion because I don't know if I want to use the legion, but they they because they you know it's such a high demand for its product. People are in love with their product, and so they, you know, they're nah, allowed to be because there's such a high demand. To Play the product, a high, high, cheap workforce out there. You well, think yeah, so? Yeah, there's that, but I mean, there's people always trying to be scared, and it hadn't worked. Yeah, but they've tried to strike, and it hasn't worked either. You well, need, the, you need nah. the head guys to just say I'm done, or you need all of the let's just say I don't know African American players to say I'm not. Playing. I'm gonna say who are the head guys? Yeah. Oh, by that I mean Tom Brady's, the Drew Brees's, well, you know the Tom Brady, Sean Watson's, the quarterbacks pretty much no they just need to go back <laughs> and, and and come i don't yeah, know they just need better agreement. representation they need but whenever better representation. but in order to get that they're going to have to give something up what would they go, have to go give back up? to money of practices or two days money no they can't give up they money give up that's, that's the one thing you can never owners, give up that's what the owner's gonna come with no nope. if you want that you got to come off your splits no nah. no nope. I mean, hey, then guess what? You ain't coming off your splits. Well, we sit down. No, I don't think they're going to have to. I think, like you said, if they really do 
have a strike. That's the only power you have in a union is to strike. The only. So they need to strike. Uh, I don't know when the when's the next CBA. I mean, I think they could negotiate a whole lot of. Uh, that's actually coming up pretty soon. Uh, it's coming up very soon. Okay, good. Well, they just need to go to the table, but I don't think they should give up any more money. I mean, you but should never give up any more money. I, mean, I, don't, think, yes. I don't think. They but can't I don't give think up any money, money should even be up for negotiation no. unless we talk about getting more. I think they could come with what a lot you more mean? demands. Okay, it's not a negotiation with just the players. The owners are who you negotiate with. Right, but that's right, what exactly. we're talking yeah. about. As a player, the as a player union. Say, there's not an owner's union. There's a player's union. I know, but the owners will say, okay, you want that. You got to give up money. No, we well, no, up but money. that's not – if I was an owner, I don't even know if I'd go that far because you know what's next down the line. Right. It's, it's a lot guaranteed strike. contracts. Lockout. Now, that's where yeah. when they come for, come for these guaranteed contracts, that's mm-hmm. when they're going to have to say, okay, well, then now y'all getting too much money. If you want guaranteed contracts, we have to slice this pot down that y'all get a and a half or whatever they come. Well, with. no, that's what the if compromise they come now, could gonna be. be. I don't, I don't, you can't. I don't know. They shouldn't. Ha- I don't know. The, the NFL owners should not die on their sword for this one. No, nah, they shouldn't. I mean, but they should definitely something. get something back. If I was an owner, I would want my players being suspended for something. I know they're for gonna something do that they're going to do anyways. That he, that the owner's doing that. at the highest too. When you have teams in cities where it's legal. Yeah, that too. So yeah, I right. mean, you in know, the country you got a in team which it is not going legal. to Vegas now, right? Mm-hmm. And when you, I mean, there's so many. Yeah, you're right. It, it's tricky. It's definitely complex. I mean, you got a team in Seattle, you got a team in Vegas, Denver. You got Denver. You got what? Three teams in California. All right. Two? two still. Yeah, three. Right. Three teams in California. I mean, come on, man. It's getting silly. Yeah, like you said, the, 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 the NFL the are always they always late yeah. to the party as far as progression goes. They always late to the prog- the progressive party. Yeah, but you know, and then and they always on the wrong side of of public uh, public opinion. opinion. They've consistently been so, on the wrong side. I mean, of you know, again, the poster child of hypocrisy. Yeah. Anyway, so now you are listening to the Garage Apartment. We are here each and every Sunday night. We are now four four strong. He didn't get a chance to introduce himself. But go ahead and introduce yourself, sir. And now it's just awkward. It's no, it's not. It's not yeah, awkward. It it's for those who didn't quite catch you. You have fans too, sir. Yeah, I've been talking the whole time, but it's Samad. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I, been, I, I was late. Uh, now, see, you had to do all that. Just I <laughs> wish I had a uh, just uh, 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 what you call this FaceTime then again because Jesus, it yeah, don't make uh, no sense, man. This heat is a. Trust. We got a strike. <laughs> <laughs> it is a bit warm in here now. We, we were warned. When is our CBA? Look, we were warned ahead of time that it is warm we in here. Oh, I saw that. I saw that. <laughs> Man, ain't nobody do that. We are here each and every Sunday night from six to seven Central Standard Time. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we have now have our website up. Yeah, the Garage. APT.com. Be it sure again, to check say it that again out. For the garage. APT.com. All lowercase. Absolutely. All lowercase. Got a brand new article that I'm putting up for you guys talking about our uh, 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 amazing trip to Beaumont for the fight night in the 409. All Shout right. out to Beaumont. We're also looking to put some other brand new stuff up there. And if you guys have any suggestions, Holla at us. We have a contact link on the website. Be sure to leave your contact information. Or ask us. You can always hit us on social media. Yeah, tweet. Absolutely. DM we st- us. We're still working on the phones, ladies and gentlemen. We're still, We're still working but they on, on the, the phones. Way. They but they are, are on, on the way. The way. <laughs> we are here for you. Long way well. So now. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Hold on. So now. We got a. Uh, NCAA basketball heating up. Age, we got, great. You know, we got we are officially in March, which means March Madness. Yeah. Duke not looking great. Is here. Duke is dead. No, North Carolina not looking not. impressive. I like what you said. So now, do we start? You did. Do we start at U of H looking good, or do we start at Duke looking bad? Where do we want to go, gentlemen? I mean, everybody saw Duke looking bad. <laughs> So now, so tell me this. If you people. are this dependent upon one player. I mean, I don't know if it's this dependent, but he 
his points do contribute to he their is wins. A, he is the he's nine plus points. The type of game to a win that he has, he being Zion Williamson. Yes, Zion Williamson. The of type the of game Blue that Devils. he has is more impactful than what his stat line shows. R.J. Barrett getting thirty and Zion Williams getting twenty eight is not the same thing. I agree. R.J. Barrett would need to get 40 in order to equal nah. up to what Zion's the, the contribution is. is Zion. I, I agree. Mean, but him and getting that's 40, the problem. You but can't him really getting do that 40 and Zion getting 28 gives you 68, though. Yes. Together. Don't that's forget what Cam Reddish. Do. Don't forget Cam oh, no, Reddish. And Cam finally has stepped up, but he – the whole the, – I'm not going to lie. I put this one on Coach K. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Because – not the not the the genius. He still has them running the same kind of game as if Zion was here. I'm assuming in preparation for the tournament in which Zion has said he will be coming back. But without he would have had to change he needed to change the entire game plan. He needed to change the entire way they did things. He needed to get a lot less um ball down a lot less isolation diamond and everything like that. He needed to run a lot more motion motion sets and things like that. But he but what if they can't? Duke only they had can't. five dudes score. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay? I mean, for real, for real. Like, Problematic. I mean, for real. Like, they had two starters not to score. Like they dialed in middle school. One of them okay. also got hurt, though. Yeah, that's fine, but it's Duke University and only five dudes Some trash score. shoes they be that's wearing. That's crazy. It has nothing okay. to do with the shoe. Yeah, it's, it's got nothing to do with the shoe. Even though, even okay. though you see North Carolina with those Okay, I was going to say, you oh see North God, Carolina yeah, break out the Jays. So, I mean, I'm sure they them. were very confident. No blowout. Really confident in no blowout. You know, I mean, Stop in the seventh grade, I won district playing in Riddell. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You know what I'm talking about? Short, you, short were, you were 270 trying to make a grab. Uh, <laughs> Riddell <laughs> with the practice shoes, and I can say one thing. They were amazing in the mud. We hooped Man. them in game shoes. I'm Man, talking, they I'm were talking about games. basketball. Yeah, I'm Riddell talking about the cleats. We had to hoop in the grade. Riddells. Basketball. Okay. <laughs> okay. Riddell yeah, need to make true, swim yeah. trunks, too. I could. Yeah. I would have got down in the swim HISD, trunks, man. HSD. Kept Rydell around. What? Kept them in business to. forever. And yeah, Barcelona, really too. Though. Look, they Is kept Barcelona. Barcelona grill? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, they oh, my goodness. Have around. These kids be wearing purple shoes. That's why when I got to college, I was like, man, look at this stuff. equipment. This is amazing. Yeah. Oh, now, man. Um, but, yeah, I mean, <laughs> that was Deuce Prof. They had five people score. And only two in double figures. Well, that's because them two that was going to be so ball dominant. They should be they deeper than that. They don't give you another chance. They, they, should, they should be chance. deeper than that. I mean, I, I, they should that, be that part than I don't understand. I don't but understand. But we don't know if they're necessarily no not deeper than that or if they're not getting opportunities. They said, like, who had, if you have the time, like, the shot attempts. We know R.J. Barrett, an incredible amount. Cam Reddish, an incredible amount. Trey Jones, probably an okay amount. Uh, what's his name? Jack White or whatever that guy's name is. Yeah, probably Jack a few White. white. He don't even he know him. He scored him. four. He played 29 minutes, scored four points. Wow. Did go. he really? All right. Uh-huh. But like I you said, doesn't that go back to Bolden scored. Oh, wait, he got hurt. Yeah, but he got hurt. Yeah, he got hurt. Doesn't that go, yeah, doesn't did, that go back did. to, like you said, Coach K, though? But I, yeah. I don't know who I was talking to earlier about this, but This is a uncharacteristic team for Duke. Meaning? That they have a bunch, not saying that they don't have a bunch of talented players, have but they have, a, player. they have a, a group of talented individual players. Which is right, not characteristic of Duke. You're right. They used to be a very they're a good team. well-oiled they're just, machine. They're, they're, like, they're like Alabama. They're like all these other Michigan State they they have they're they're good to play together historically they have but that. yes but if you knock one if one of them graduates or or say they these people go to the pros and now it's just you 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 have to win your battle one on one they're not going to do it they're good team players they're good role players something that we've all known from I mean, you have – everything has an outlier. Everything has exception to the rules. There's always – yes, there's going to be a Jason Williams, a Kyrie Irving. I was going to say, you, I mean, you're right. But historically – That's only one player. Historically, they have not – they, their players have never – their players' uh, star uh, 
play in in college did not transfer at the state. I mean, at the state, at the at the pro level until recently. They're professional guys. I I give them that. They're professional guys. They're professional teammates. You know what I'm saying? They, so you're they, saying that's what's wrong with this year's team because they because they have such pro such pro players that now they can't win as a team. They can't play as a t- pro team. I mean, as a college team. Good lord, as it, a college it, team. It might be, or they they put all their eggs in like DRC says they put all their eggs in one basket. The problem is, yeah, they they play too much like a pro team. They they run their initial set when they come down, and then it breaks down, and then it's just and isolation. they can't shoot, and then they do not shoot exceptionally well. <laughs> they can't at shoot. all, but they have not shot really that well since JJ Reddick. Yeah, pretty but much, I give I'll give you that. Trey Jones could stand to be a lot more impactful at the point guard position. That fraud out cat from um, <laughs> North Carolina continually dominates this man. Continually. And Trey Jones is supposed to be a defensive stopper, a defensive person. Um, but it's quite evident that you can't stop him. I mean, if you're so not doing that. Score on him then. Not if you can't do that block charge stuff that they used oh, to no, do. Wait, wait, wait. You say that block charge stuff. Right? <laughs> well, because they, boy, the they used to let y'all get away with that foolishness. You're talking about actually playing legitimate <laughs> college basketball defense? Let's ask no, our talking resident. About, okay. Let's ask our rever- resident There's playing referee. legitimate defense, and there's going out there just to get in the damn way. Well, 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 <laughs> there's people that do that. Well, what would you like for me to do that if I can't block a shot? If I can't block a shot, if I can't jump Move high enough feet. to block a shot, steal the ball. They have literally input the rule for that reason. Not yeah, you yeah. sliding I under somebody play, well, while they're in the air. Yeah, well, don't don't I mean, blame me because I got a bad referee yeah, now. <laughs> don't blame me yeah. because he got suckered in to making that charge call. I, mean, I knew I was leaning. I nah. knew I fell early, but he didn't. That's yeah, but not the on rule me. is so like, I don't know, it's not even really. There used to be, you know, it, it used to be more defined. And plus, I think a lot of refs just like to do the punch. <laughs> <laughs> the charge sign yeah. looks like, like the like baseball umpires, <laughs> yeah. right? Like, they yeah, start. The baseball umpires love. They be getting. Oh, God! Yeah. <laughs> Run me! <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of basketball refs just like to punch. That's that highlight tape right there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You it, can be seen a it, lot of that. It puts you in the, the game. He's like, <laughs> watch. <laughs> watch. Hey, 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 check me out. Check, check out how I call this charge. Before an interview, you seen that tape in there? Because have you seen High Noon with Bro Money when he's talking about the referee that hit him with the finger He's like, he's like, how you get a passing grade? You can't do that to me, man. You can't do that to me. How you get a passing grade through this? He said, I'm going to put my own little flavor on it, fella. Oh, yeah, man. man. So. No, but U of H looks very good, though. Let's just hope they. I think they're going to mess them up go, in their season, man. man. Nah, they, they, can't, they don't need nah, to play nobody a, strong. A two, three. They sh- if you they think they're going to get a three seed? They shouldn't get a two. Yeah, they, they shouldn't, shouldn't get, get that. Two. Yeah, that'll blow their heads up. If they yeah, win. Why they shouldn't get a two? Because they're going to give Gonzaga one. Yeah, because yeah, Gonzaga's no, had more history. Gonzaga's Gonzaga played more big teams, though. Gonzaga all plays. they played was Duke. Didn't we go through this already? Yeah, we went yeah. through this already. This is deja vu. Gonzaga's played more the schedule. We already talked about top that. teams than U of H has. Plus, they play history. a much more difficult and non-conference schedule. It. Plus, like you oh, said, yeah, exactly. They have history. Uh, recent with history. Enix. So? Well, that ain't got nothing competed. to do with this year. Yeah, I know it doesn't, but it does. But it does, though. It doesn't. They start there's a selection That's how the committee. Com- uh, yeah, there's well, a committee. Like it's it's always, shouldn't. It, it shouldn't. shouldn't, but there's a selection nothing committee. Nothing shouldn't. It's, uh, NCAA yeah. is a yeah, nothing. Yeah, but there's some bias to the committee. There, but when you have people involved, there's always bias. Well, I guess so. It's all what happens with the computers. They ain't work Yeah, you can try to be as objective as possible, but it's people involved. It is the NCAA in the Invitational Whoa, the National what? Championship. That, that we're going to give you one more time. The NCAA <laughs> oh, okay. I National Championship <laughs> Invitational. Oh, well, uh, okay. Because the NIT And you're right. They the are it. also the poster child for hypocrisy. Those oh, yeah. The, oh, them the and the NFL, is, they are, they the are conjoined I, I, twins. I think at, the NCAA, but the NCAA is so hip. For critical right, because yeah. of the NFL. Look at us using those hey, big man, words. I'm proud of you, gentlemen. It, that's because our, our cameraman right now just did his SAT. Yeah, oh, yeah he's yeah, the yeah, quite astute. The, 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 the young well, scholar. Mr. Shout Mr. out. Mr. Bruce Leroy right here. Ah, you know, Leroy! <laughs> <laughs> that's 
my nephew. Am I the meanest? That's my nephew. Yeah. Show That's, my boy. That's my boy right there. <laughs> Am hey. I the bad? Hey, don't be texting to your brother and other people that we talking bad about you right now. Apparently, your dad didn't tell you about the temperature situation in here. Yeah, that sucks. That's on him. Don't worry about that. He put you out there. I guess it is hot. Look, because I'm actually getting a little. Nah, man, it's just more than hot. I'm perspiring a tad bit in here. But that's all right. I'm cool as an opposing hurt. That's what we do. That's what we do. We play through it. It's the garage apartment. I'm cooler than a That's polar right. bear's toenail. Shout so out to now, Big Boy. speaking of playing hurt, how many of you? Well, I should. I'm, I'm acting like I'm in class. How many of you? <laughs> so last night we had a a a. Uh, what do I want to call it? An interesting uh, a scandal. No game. Scandal. I'm just gonna stick with game between the very injured uh, L.A. Lakers. <sighs> And the Boston Celtics. Man. Oh. So, so much so that it caused me to think to myself, well, now how many of these dudes is really hurt? And how many of them are just quitting? I mean. Because how everybody hurt. Everybody hurt. Stevenson is not playing. Kuzman is not playing. Ball is not playing. Now, Ingram has a very serious. Uh, Ball's out for a while, too. Uh, Ingram has a very serious Ball situation going. Hurt. He has blood clots. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> LeBron is now on minutes restrictions, so not I said, "Well, why hurt? Won't they just go ahead and call up the the uh, the, the 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 Grand City Rapids. the G League team? Yeah, right. Just call up the G League team and tell them to go out there and play, yeah. which would be nice because uh, the boy from TSU, Mr. Uh, shout out to TSU speech and debate team. Hey, shout out to speech national we, champions, speech right. and debate. Shout HBCU out HBCU national champions. Now we're gonna go knock off one of them. Most big important schools. one. <laughs> but how much? How much do y'all think are they actually <laughs> injured, and how much of that is them? They didn't quit on the season, man. Well, uh, I, our our major listener Ben Martin says <laughs> Lakers ain't injured. They done they done with the Kang Circus. <laughs> the Kang Circus. Well, they said. Well, that means <laughs> the they didn't shift off because somebody James. ain't leaving. I can tell you one person that will be there next year. Wait a minute. That's I know. the only person that will be there next yeah, year for that? sure. That would be LeBron James. Thank you. Yeah, LeBron James is going to be there next year. I, agree with you. I can't I believe agree you with talking that noise. You being from Illinois, the neighbor to Ohio, and you got the nerve to talk about that great man like that. Well, I'm, uh, okay. <laughs> I mean, I don't really like Oklahoma too much either. That's the neighbor down here, man. So <laughs> but AT, AP's a beast, <laughs> though. Well, I, you know what? You're right, because I got issues with Dallas. Uh, so I yeah, guess I so. And the we understand. <laughs> AP a beast though. I ain't. I don't like. But Oklahoma, no, I mean, I think they were all originally injured, and then it's gonna get to once they got mathematically eliminated, or pretty not mathematically eliminated, but eliminated from the playoffs. What's the point of bringing them back? Let it linger. Pay them to go. Get the best draft pick you can, and go back for AD in the summer. I mean, they are they gonna get to Kawhi? Um, no, I doubt it. Why going to the Clippers? The Clippers, you think? He wants the Clippers instead of the Lakers. He don't want to play with LeBron. I honestly think Kawhi think is going to, to stay there. LeBron. You think he's going to in stay Toronto? in Toronto? I think he's going to stay. They in say Toronto. he has major issues with the cold, though. Well, he, he should. It's the cold, cold of Toronto. Oh, the in cold. Toronto. Yeah, the cold. It's cold. I can't blame it's the same cold in L.A. when the sun goes what? down. You're out of your nah, mind. Did you, did you really just say that? <laughs> Once the sun goes down, it don't matter what temperature it is outside. <laughs> Once the sun well, goes down. If you got a problem with hey, that is definitely the The only thing falling in L.A. when the sun goes down is bullets and bodies. You man, better be careful. I don't know, man. Not anymore. I promise you. <laughs> it got pretty, it got up, pretty chilly in the summer when we was in L.A., yo. No, it does. Like it gets chilly, so yeah, he but, but it don't get Toronto. Chill. I mean, no, thank you. We, we're but not, Toronto, Toronto in the has winter in almost good, ten Toronto months a year. Toronto is a beautiful spot. And I was gonna say he just gotta live there for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But if that's the case, if he truly, truly hates the cold like that, then I mean, you left San Antonio. And I can it's relate. Hundred and five uh, yeah, half yeah. the year down there, but I guess go to L.A. I see them at the Clippers, though, not L.A. Kenneth, Lakers. where you at, man? Holla at me, man. What's wrong with your Lakers, man? Did they quit or are, are, are they really injured? The boy Ben Martin say LeVar sat his boy down. <laughs> and he did. Y'all don't want me at the game? He won't be there either. And that boy Hamad Jennings said the cold. <laughs> cold? <laughs> In his soldier boy voice. How much you want? Oh, how much you going? How much can y'all pay me? It's a code. Yes, indeed. You are listening to the Garage Apartment. We are here each and every Sunday night from six to seven Central Standard Time. Be sure to check us out on Instagram, Twitter, 
Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And now we now have a website. So be sure to check out our website, thegarageapt.com. Not spelled all the way out. APT, thegarageapt.com, all lowercase. So, gentlemen, we got NBA playoffs coming up. We got March Madness, of course, the tournament coming up. Uh, mm. uh, Amar got mad with us talking about baseball yesterday. I mean, last oh, week. No, man. no, no, I didn't at all. But hold <laughs> and, on, and hold on. We did spend hold a long on, hold on. time on baseball. Yeah, we, we spent a long time on baseball, which, which was pretty good. But and wait a minute before you say that, we uh-huh. want to apologize about the sound falling out. We we working oh, yeah. on that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah we go. Yeah, <laughs> we're working on. That. Yeah, we working on that too. We're anyway, a go. lot of stuff. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> it, it, <laughs> I, uh, you talk. Okay, we did mention. Uh, uh, were we going to mention that the, the high school uh, the playoffs? playoffs? Yeah, or state tournament? Yeah, state the tournament. Texas t- That's state over. tournament. That's over. That's over. Yates uh, lost. I mean, well, yeah, whoa, Yates lost. Whoa, don't be so dismissive while you uh, say that, yeah. sir. Yates lost to the eventual yeah, state champion. Now, Yates now I can honestly say every year that Yates has lost state, it has always been to the eventual state champion, yeah, if yeah. not in the championship game. They we ain't been. losing to no fluke. So yeah. then it's okay they for James Harden and them to lose to right. the Golden State Warriors. Absolutely. But, what I'm saying is just when you see what they've done all year, don't be surprised when they lose. They avenged their loss to Silsby. Yeah, but they lost yeah, to yeah. Faith in a Family Academy out of Oak Cliff, Texas. Which I think is a made-up school, by the way. Oak I think they went got no, some grown no, men no. and put them on the team and said, here, go play. No, there's actually a good article about it in the Dallas Morning News about this school. It's It's been around a while. It's just a charter school um, uh, that's like in any, the Dallas-Fort Worth area. They have like several any, locations. In every this school this in campus Dallas here happens charter. to be um, in a damn good uh, part of town for basketball players. For basketball purposes. <laughs> this is South Dallas, <laughs> Oakland. Stop in the middle of I that mean, It just happens so to be in a great – if, if you want, if you want to start a basketball of basketball team, in Dallas, right? Uh, if, you, if, if you want to start a basketball team, this is probably the best area in the state of Texas Absolutely. to start one. Oh, Cliff. Okay. That's so where Chris Bosch has been from. Right. LeBron mean, Nash. Uh, so many. Just, yeah, a bunch of them. Anyway. So many. I mean, there's so many Mark that didn't make it. I was going to say, Marcus Smart. <laughs> He's from Flower Mound. Hey, that's okay. South. No. That, that is no, that's nowhere not. Close. Flower Mound is north. <laughs> I would say that is nowhere <laughs> close to each other. <laughs> right. Anywho. Right down the street. But anyway, <laughs> uh, uh, Oak Cliff's uh, coach actually left the job at Cedar Hill. Uh, ah. He was very successful to come there. Uh, two freshmen starting at Oak Cliff. Uh, even that forward, that number, what, 23 or 32, who killed Yates in that second half. Why you got to say that? He did. He <laughs> was the difference. Be truthfully and nah, the boy was a, and the boy's a freshman. And the point guard's a freshman, too. And he beat the press single-handedly a couple. I mean, he, I thought, it, huh? they were a good team, man. Um, they won on the last they second dunk. They got to be a good team. They beat us. Yeah, they won on the last second dunk against uh, Liberty Hill in the uh, – you know what, I did hear about that. I didn't yeah. see it, but I it was did hear about it. Uh, that so second dunk, like they had the ball, they drove down, and they he drove, beat dished, everybody, or and like it was, it was a dunk, a little, and then went, Wow. Uh, yeah, you talk it was about a, excitement. Against a very good Liberty Hill team who actually won their semifinal game um, on a last second three-pointer against the number one team in the state in the 4A classification, Decatur. Mm. And, uh, Decatur well, is great. Deck. Yeah. There was a great moment where the the Dick Texas, <laughs> <laughs> not the Dick Georgia, <laughs> where the head coach of Oak Cliff Faith deal. and Family actually consoled the player because he was just caught up in the melee after the dunk. He just happened to be down there, yeah. and then all the you just <laughs> happened to be underneath me yeah. while my nuts in all your the celebration. Yeah. Oh God, <laughs> not quite. All the not celebration and stuff. It was a beautiful <laughs> moment. Also, on the six A level, we had two Houston area teams make the uh, state tournament. Uh, both of them lost. Oh, uh, man. I was rooting for North Shore. I wanted to be able. North Shore in the semifinal. That would have been cool to be exacting state champions in football yeah. and basketball. Yeah, exactly. Probably why they revenge. lost. Because the you were rooting for them. They played the exact same team in, in the basketball t- uh, state championship yeah, as they did in the football Well, nah, nah, well nah, the semifinal. It was a semifinal. Right, semifinal. How cool and it was, was another that? Houston area team, Klein Forest, who they played in the uh, state championship. Were there some bas- football players playing on the basketball I'm sure they are. That would be crazy. I'm sure, I'm they, sure are. they are. But Duncanville uh, almost doing the double. Now, my senior year of high school, Duncanville almost won all three. 
They won football, <laughs> basketball. <laughs> they didn't win baseball. Oh, because they were God. defeated by national champion Bel Air Cardinals in the state championship game. Shout out to the We all wah, knew wah, where wah. that one was going to end. We all wah, knew where wah. that was going to end. But, I mean, it, a lot of talent in Duncanville, evidently, too. But it was a great state tournament. Uh, I watched some of the games online. Uh, they need to get back to streaming them. Or yeah, well, no, on all TV. they showed was the six eight game on Fox. Yeah, Sports. That, I yeah. Think that's whack. Now, that's granted, crazy. they had they had they they said They'll all of that all on, on replays though. They said all of that on the website that they they gave the broadcast schedule and what they were going to show. Right. But I do think it's a little ridiculous that if you can show all of the football games, yeah. why you can't show all of the basketball? And the crazy thing, there wasn't nothing else on Fox Sports Southwest. Oh, I was fishing. Not to the mention morning. the basketball games are shorter. And a little bit more probably jam. I mean, action packed. Football yeah, I mean, is king. Football is king. It's just good to just for those argument. kids, like, like those one eight kids, ago. to get exposure. You know, two well, eight kids. Jan said so they don't know nothing about that code in Cali. <laughs> I tried to <laughs> told you, man. <babe. laughs> hey, temperatures can no drop Toronto twenty to thirty code. degrees man. after the sun goes I'm, down any hey. day of the week. Shout out, oh. to tell us, cousin, Jan. Oh. Shout out to my cousin Trip. <laughs> okay, so this summer I went out to see my cousin Trip, man. From ninety to sixty, a balm is sixty. Oh, hey, I would. I had to wear a freaking. Long sleeve shirt and a jacket. She said, oh, you ever man. notice people at the beach with, in L.A. wear long sleeves? <laughs> yeah, because that water yeah. cold. Yeah. The water is now, cold. Now, the water is very water cold. Is. I had to learn that firsthand. I remember the first time I went to the beach out there in Jan. Shout out to Jan. Jan, you made that experience wonderful for me, by the way. And I went and got in that Pacific Ocean. I said, this is nothing like the Gulf of Mexico. No, nothing. The Gulf of Mexico is <laughs> damn First summer. off, it's blue. Uh, Secondly, it's freezing. That's why there's no hurricanes the Gulf of back on the blue every now and again. Not where we from. Yeah, man, it's just blue all last summer. Corpus. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, not all last summer. A few times last yeah, summer. Yeah, well, that's better than nothing. That's because it was clean shrimp and, uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> and algae. Yeah, but I mean... That cold in L.A. after the sun goes down, that's one thing. But when it's 20 below at 12 noon in Toronto, Thank that's you. a whole different deal. Hey. And look, and look, in August. Without even counting the wind <laughs> exactly. yeah, so In it, August. It, it doesn't compare. Nothing compares to that. Anyway. But so it's yeah, go to LA great just state tournament. Be exciting. So, so what else we got? That was our local uh, report. Yeah. Although I think I think we should put that on the website. What do you think? Oh, yeah, definitely we will. Yeah. We so yeah, look, be looking out for that on the on the website. Again, the website is thegarageapt.com. Thegarageapt.com. Yeah, I'm gonna do a write up about that, and then my next write up is gonna be, hookah is stupid. Uh, hookah is stupid. Hookah, 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 oh, hookah, God. hookah, hookah. So now, after it's you so check us out, hookah. be sure to leave us comments. We welcome all comments. We welcome all uh, suggestions. We welcome all feedback, uh, Positive, feedback and negative, interaction. We take Absolutely, it we yeah. are here for you. We are here for the people. We represent the people. Y'all so wanna, y'all want to talk about some boxing? Let's since, talk about some boxing. Since Earl Spence and all them, they they fight next weekend or this weekend coming up. That's right. But last night there was a fight. Who was fighting? Uh, Sean Porter and out of Cleveland, Ohio. And let me get this man's name. Your let's see. Come on, sound it out. Hey, hey, your Dennis. Okay, mm. Ugas. I okay, don't think, okay. I don't think. Look, I don't think that's right. No. <laughs> oh, it's right for now, though. <laughs> Ugas. Ugas. Where is he from? Somewhere in Africa. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That narrows it down. Uh, I mean, hey, Af- there's not, 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 no, your dean is you got spell U G A S. Yeah, I don't know. U-G-A-S. I don't know about your dentist. Your dentist sounds like some kind of weird Cuban name. Yeah. I mean, hey. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> yeah. uh, apparently, it was a split decision. Uh huh. And the crowd let it be known that. Porter did not win this fight. Uh-oh. Multiple people are saying uh, that the he scores did not. were 116, 112, 115, 113, mm. and the third judge had the fight 117, 111. You guys. What do you know? He is Cuban. Yeah. Uh, look at you. Hold you on. know, I must give you, you name that nationality. You're pretty good at this because when we met uh, Oshaki's camp. <laughs> And he was like, where are you from? He's like, I'm from New York. He's like, nah, where are you from? <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's like, huh? He's like, Is it, are you West Indies? He's yeah. like, oh, wow. Yeah. Turn to find out he's Jamaican. But anyway, uh, trying to hide. Good. Yeah, you're pretty trying good at this hide. game, brother. <laughs> pretty good at this game. <laughs> <laughs> Ice. <laughs> <All right. laughs> 
<laughs> Shout out to Oshaki's camp, by the way. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I mean, we're a sanctuary city, so you cool. That's oh, cool. oh. But now, he ain't always here. Yeah. No, but uh, did yes. Jamaicans need sanctuary? I mean, yeah, they anybody not that is not, not uh, Jamaicans get sent back every day, <laughs> every day. But they work. And so do the other so people. So did they everybody work? Some That's the problem. I'm looking a job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm Nobody actually... Nobody complain about Jamaicans taking a job. That's Nobody! Do you hear me? Hold on. As long as you can make a beef patty, you all right. Uh -huh. I, yeah, it looked like he did. I'm looking at some of this footage, and yeah, it, you guys got with got with Porter. So it looked like we're going to have to put that on, the, on, 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 on our social media accounts, and then y'all let us know what you think. Oh, he did drop him, though. He dropped who? Porter. They called it a slip? Hold on. Oh, he dropped Porter. He called it a slip. Slip, the man. He hit him man. right in the back of the head, and he fell. So if you did watch the fight, man, hit us up because I, I unfortunately I did not. I don't. I can't even remember what I was doing last night. That's crazy, right? I was at my wife's book signing. Hey, hey shout congratulations out to, to Mama Stacy. Yeah, Mama. He yeah. riding them. Yeah, we sold some books and all that last hey, night. Hey, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, we be getting them brick sales, man. Out What's the name there? of the book? It's the name of the book is a black girl's blues. A black girl's blues. Yes. Black girls blues. Yes. I know some of I our lady listeners can Amazon, probably huh? uh, second that notion. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's it, it's a, a, a very good read, <laughs> urban novel. It's uh -huh. uh, one of three. It's uh -huh. the first in a trilogy. Oh, check her out. She got a trilogy. Uh, yeah, and you can go to our author. I was going to say Arthur. That's Arthur, the dude. That's the king. Author, StacyDay.com. StacyDay.com. Uh, in order to purchase a book, T-shirts, hats. Hey. Anything. And, uh, like. You can also go to Amazon.com if you don't trust us <laughs> to send your stuff off. So you now. You can get it done by some Jeff Bezos and his people. There you go. And Stacy, I will be expecting Let my y'all know we uh, official. <laughs> <laughs> so. Hey, that boy Ben Martin said he slipped on a wet corner, but I don't oh, know. Stop <laughs> it, Ben. I don't know, man. Ben, I, you know, I haven't, hey, I haven't sat down and rapped. Is that we what have, happened? Uh, that <laughs> hit behind the ear, though. That It was simultaneous with that slip, so, hey, I'd call it a hit. Ben, yeah, me Cuban you, fighters are notoriously strong, though. I mean, we haven't rapped in a while, brother. Are you a, are you a Porter fan, man? I, you know, I don't think, I would imagine you wouldn't be a Porter fan. But anyway, holler at me, man. Text me. I miss you, brother. <laughs> oh, nice. And what's yeah. Cam doing? Anyway, we'll talk. Anyway, so now. Uh, <laughs> Cam grown man, bro. Yeah, I heard he getting big, oh my dude. God. And how the twins doing. But anyway, we'll talk. We'll talk. We'll talk. We'll ben talk. said he had had a draw. He scored at 6-6. Six, six. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? See? Really? Yeah. But, you know, I'm never impressed with Predator. I'm, the, the Predator, Predator. I'm never impressed with Porter. With because Porter. to me, Porter never, he's not a clean fighter. Uh, oftentimes, I see him miss. Uh, he actually gets so close into fighters that he doesn't allow himself to extend his hands and actually throw anything effective. And that's what, exactly what it looked like. He was missing a lot. So, I mean, I have, I have issues with the way the he dude fights. was going period. inside. You guys was going inside from what, I saw, what, what I'm looking at. Hitting them with clean shots. Man, yeah. I'm going to have to check that out, man. But yeah, know? I am too. Does Ugas get a, a, a rematch? I don't know. Or is he going to avoid this guy? <laughs> I don't know. You know but, but, but you got you. You got to get to our YouTube channel for our uh, That's live. YouTube. Okay. Absolutely. Because we're going to do uh, the uh, live The Raw Department so far this week. Uh-huh. But, 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 but I'm saying not just that. I'm talking about for the, for the fight coming up this uh, week. Uh, fight 16. night. Ah, yeah. Are we going to do that? We're going to do fight night. It's on the website. I think we kind of have to. We're writing everybody at the website. We're like a bunch of liars. Yeah, this is true. So, hey, there you go. We just broke news. Be <laughs> sure to <t> <laughs> I figured we were. Hey. Hey, I think be, I be sure to check out our are. YouTube channel for our our. If you, want, uh, if you know where we are during this uh, fight stream, uh, you can go on BYOB and chill with your boys. Oh, I don't know about that. I mean, yeah. I don't know how much space we have. <laughs> <laughs> we got enough space for a couple folks. Yeah, invitation on. First first invitation first 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 invitation on. Again, again I say if you, it's mystery spot. If you know where we at. Uh, I would say I opened up registration, but I don't know. It might be an influx of folk. I don't hey, know you about You got to know where we at. You know what I'm saying? So, yes, we will have a special edition, fight night edition of the Garage Apartment. I don't know. Are we going to go live? Yep. 
I mean, it's fight cash. You gotta go live. Fight cash. Well, yeah, if yeah, not, yeah. Either yeah. way, they'll be able to see us. Well, no, we're gonna sure. go live. We're gonna go live. We're gonna go live. We're gonna make that happen. I mean, you know, I mean, All right. I won't be there. I'm sorry. Where are you gonna be? I'm being uh, Shreveport. Doing what? Or no, Lake Charles. I'm sorry. Lake Doing Charles. what? Celebrating, Celebrating my father-in-law. Happy As birthday! Shout out to Mr. Douglas. Right. Okay. Okay. Mr. Douglas. Yeah, OG Douglas. His birthday. We don't like to hide you know things from the listeners. We like to keep everything organic. Yes, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I think we're going to see go see Cool in the Game. Oh, oh snap. Are you really? Yeah, oh, man. We're doing, we're doing some OG type stuff. You know? Are y'all yeah. staying in one of Fertitta's uh Is that Golden Casinos? Nugget? Casinos? Yeah, it's that Golden Nugget. That's a good Fertitta. You know. Yeah. <laughs> All that good mob money. I don't know, right? right? Hey, whatever. Keep pumping it in there, Tim. So now, keep good, news, it in. good news for the Rockets fans since we're talking about Fertitta. Because they're winning. They are winning. James Bring back Harden's guys night out, Fatita. Who? Yeah, that was Story great. Everybody. What? The Rockets the, used to call me. And and the hot dogs you would buy and one <laughs> ticket to a Rockets game, and they would call you all year. Now, since Fatita bought them, they don't give a they don't care. Bring, <laughs> bring Gene back. I don't know what to say, but then the ticket people ain't the what. The man, <laughs> Gene. I, I'm, I'm calling you out, Houston that boy, Rockets. That boy Gene went <laughs> UFC <laughs> on us, man. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying, though. They need to get somebody in there. The ticket office is not as thorough as they used to be. They cocky for some reason. Say, keep it thorough. <laughs> <laughs> keep it thorough, Rockets. Uh, not, they used to. Oh, anyway. They got James Harden. They ain't got to be yeah. thorough no more. Uh, and, and, and see, there we go. Fatita. They figure you want to come see him. Yeah. We ain't got to. We ain't got to sell him to you. Or you think a man they went to the West Coast. The hospitality Coast. business, you know, would be a little bit more hospitable. But whatever, <laughs> Rockets. My boy Mark might have something different to say uh, about that, but it, that's a conversation for another day. Shout out to my boy Mark Square. Holla at me, man. <laughs> yeah, what up? He's, he, he's the personal officer for Fatita when he goes to the U of H game. Up, okay, Squares? God bless him. I'm not talking about that part. I'm talking man. about Shout your dang on ticket and office. But no, I'm saying he's made. Let me not do that. And yeah, you're yeah, yeah that, 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 we'll talk about that. Tomorrow. No, I'm cool with that, but I'm talking. Anyway, yeah. y'all not. I see empty seats. When I'm watching games. I y'all agree. not y'all not really doing a whole lot of outreach like you used to. Hey. Do some more community outreach, Rockets. Come on, we hey, love you. Everybody my, loves you. Hey, cause my boys say y'all never did come finish y'all end of the bargain with the what was it, Coy? Yeah, no, what, what what were they supposed to do at your school that they never came and completed? Hey, y'all need to come finish oh, the gazebo, no, man. Oh, 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 nah, oh, man. You can't leave the kids. That's the man. You see what I'm saying? That's the stuff, man. We're going to get on that one. We're gonna get on that one. Y'all promised, y'all promised the Harmony School of Ingenuity a gazebo, and you didn't finish it. So you need to get over there and make it happen, Jimmy. And who wants an unused gazebo? That's right. <laughs> or unfinished hey, gazebo. Or unfinished. Excuse me. <laughs> We should really get back, though, to, That's called a slab to of wood. Uh, some NFL, because this boy, uh, AB, AB, is about yeah. to be an Oakland oh, Raider. Oh, man, getting paid. So now, wait a minute. We got two and a half minutes, gentlemen. Let's make, quickly, make it happen. That boy quick, quit yo, through AB. a tantrum and won. About to be in Vegas. He's going where? He's going to Oakland. He's going to, o- he's well, going to Oakland, Vegas. Oakland, 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 Vegas. Vegas. When was this announced? For a third and a fifth round yesterday, pick, if I'm not really. mistaken. Pretty much yesterday, last night, I'm this morning. I have not well, been watching TV. On the, the white the Adam Schefter Twitter. actually uh, dropped it. It's all the white Adam Schefter? <laughs> yeah, that's what he's got to do now. You know, they got the black Adam yeah. Schefter. And he's pretty funny. Yeah, he is. Because I have not been watching TV. Because you know what I've been focusing on? The Garage Apartment. Yeah. I'm just kidding. The Garage, APT.com. The Garage, APT.com. Be sure to check that out. We got two minutes left. Hey, if you had Instagram and Facebook, you would have known that. Uh. First off, <laughs> yes. touche, brother. Touche. Uh, there you go. Okay. <laughs> two minutes. You know what I think I'm going to do? would have been Facebook. Uh, you know what I think page. I'm going to do? Because I haven't been on that either. But you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to create one for do you that, all. Man. On, you can man, have please. a fan page for you and the, and, the, and the show. Or just do a page and just... Have Spy on people. Right? <laughs> that too. That's what it's for. <laughs> but I got a family that I love and keeps me busy. I ain't got time to be spying on nobody. That's who hey. most people spy on. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they <laughs> always with me, so I ain't got to worry about that neither. You talking about he broke, got a new truck though. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't gave me my money yet, but I see them on TV with on, on the Instagram. Oh, with he need another month. Huh? He, he oh, buying man. a bar every weekend. Ain't he? Look at yes, that. indeed. So now we got hey, we got to leave it there. You are listening to the Garage Apartment. We are here each and every Sunday night from 6 to 7 p.m. Be sure to check us out.
follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and check out our new website, thegarageapt.com. Please Y'all, go there. Absolutely. We got some good stuff coming up. I told you we got a fight night edition uh, this Saturday. Y'all stay blessed. Be good. I won't be late again.